My name's John Thorne, I'm Sustainability Coordinator at Glasgow School of Art. Uh, by training I'm a Rural and Global Development Management, that's my degrees, and that includes everything to do with social, economic, environmental, there's Scottish history in there, there's ecology, it's a whole range of different subjects I studied, and I'm really interested in how societies and, envi and the environment and the economy gro grows and how they interact with each other. So at the Glasgow School of Art, I've been there nearly nine years, and I'm interested really in how designers and artists can interact with issues like climate change. So for example, with artists, I'm looking at how art can help people emotionally connect to issues like the ecological emergency and the climate crisis. And with designers and architects, how we can design and, and build better in different ways, systematic solutions rather than sort of tinkering with the system. I suppose I'm in danger of becoming an old, literally old cynic. Um, so I, I look at things like you know, Unilever and the, the energy companies that are here and I think you have to take what they're doing with a large grain of salt. Uh, but I think they also potentially hold the solutions. If you're going to use the, the system to fix it, we need to actually convince them that, to go in certain directions. Um, so I want to distinguish between people taking actions like recycling and changing light bulbs, which I don't think are useful or meaningful. Instead, I want them to do meaningful things uh, to try and change how the system works and for me and others in my field that's about raising awareness but then you know building that zeitgeist you know that feeling about what's normal in society social norms built around our value systems about what we want to see in the future so like future visioning and aim for that and then decide how to design to it so that's why I work with designers I think almost the first thing I say to students, often they come to me with climate anxiety. I'm not a counsellor, I can refer them on to counsellors, but what I say is their responsibility is limited. So 7.8 billion people in the planet, that's your level of responsibility, one in 7.8 billion. You know, our responsibility and our impact is actually quite small. And our responsibility and impact at university, I think is, it's almost inconsequential. The effect you're gonna have by being a sculptor or designing things or building models, it's really tiny amount, but in your careers and in your future practice, you can make a huge impact potentially. You, know, you can go out and design not only a better house, but a better city, or you know, as an interior designer, you can change how paint's used generally in your profession, you know, because lots of paints are plastic and, and toxic. Uh, as a sculptor, you, know, you can go out and create a thousand sculptures better you know, with less impact for the environment.